Hi and welcome to Tykes TV. Um, West Brom coming up on Saturday, early kickoff at 12 30. Uh, got Caleb on. Uh, people what sorry uh, subscribe to Tykes TV already know about Caleb. So, Caleb, it's great to have you on board, mate. Thanks for every time you've had me on. Not a problem, not a problem. <coughs> so, yeah, uh, weekend when we played Preston North End. It were a bit of a mixed match of players. There were some young players that come in, like Aidan Marshall scored a goal, uh, young Sarah, uh, so a bit of a chop and change about. Uh, any players that stood out for you against West Brom, uh, Caelan? Probably um, all the all the young guns, because mm -hmm. how they played and how confident they were, but Definitely Aidan Marsh. Yeah, I mean, he scored his goal, unfortunately, it wasn't a winning goal, but it was great to see him on uh, on the score sheet. And I don't know about you, but when he got substituted as well, it was great to see him walking around the ground and all, uh, you know, taking photos and being, you know, signing signatures. That I think that's what you want to see in it. Uh, you know, a young local lad and all fans appreciate it. Yeah, I think he is a great player. Do you think next season, uh, obviously we're going to be in League One, but next season, do you think he's, if he gets some, um, what can I say, supply to him, if he's got a bit more chance of getting uh, a lot more goals in League One next season? Yeah, because I, I feel like he has like the confidence, like he can start, he should be starting all the time in League One. Good call, yeah. I mean, League One, um, all being well, Matty Wolf as well, another young another young kid, uh, the young centre-back as well, uh, Sra, he, that was his first debut, so there's a lot of young players coming through. All being well, we can add a bit of quality, a bit of experience. Um, un undecided if Woodrow's still going to be a bat and that, but I think with young players, you still need that bit of help and guidance, don't you, Caelan? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a great result. You know, we lost against Pre uh, Preston, but considering side of it got put out, there were a lot of players that were starting for the first time as well, so a lot of learning. Going into West Brom game then, uh, what do you think is going to happen against West Brom with young players, Caelan? Um, I think they should start, but they should do well against West Brom because they're... Going down level now, mm. I feel like. We're on playoffs, won't be at one bit, but now we've like come off at boil, so we're going to miss out on playoffs. So, like I said, we've gone off at boil a bit. Um, they haven't got really out to play for, apart from obviously play a football a football match. We're going to be doing the same again. I'm just looking through injuries, so I don't know if you know about this, but I'll just read through some of the stuff. Um, it looks like that. Callum Morris is out. Uh, Callum Britton is doubtful. He's going to have a fitness test. We all know about like Elite and Brad Collins. So again, Josh Benson and Devante Cole, they might start um, on Saturday. So you've got two players possibly what could be starting. But I'd, would, would you still start with Matty Wolf and um, Aidan Marsh Saturday against West Brom? Yeah, because like they can like improve, and I think they can do well against West Brom. I think yeah, possibly but against a bit bit better sides in West Brom. Um, I think Martin Devane has done pretty well. He he knows players because he's dropped some players as well. Because according to what Martin Devane was saying, that some players weren't putting in effort. So it's great to get young young ones a go who we'll know that they're doing effort to come in and uh, have a game, isn't it? Yeah, they always like push. They. Have all the confidence and effort that they need. Confidence, and it, it, I think it's confidence for fans as well because when we see play, people or players on pitch actually playing well or trying, us as fans we appreciate that. Um, so it's going to be a tough game, I think, at West Brom. I mean, it's going to be the last game at Championship. Obviously, we're going down to League One. I'll, I'll be when we can bounce straight back, Caelan, but. I think next season there's going to be some some players coming and some players going. Uh, 
what do you think is going to happen to us next season in League One? Do you think it's going to be a bit of a struggle or do you think we're going to, you know, because we've got to get a manager as well, haven't we? So what do you think it's going to be like for next season? I think it might be a bit hard because a lot of our best players might be leaving, like Maurice Woodrow. Mm-hmm. It's going to be difficult, isn't it? Yeah. Especially if we can... I don't know if they're in the playoffs. Sunderland. Uh, yeah. I believe I've, I've just uh, missed out. I believe, I believe, I believe. I'm not really sure. I can double check for you in a minute. But Sunderland's a, like a good call. Um, do you think we'll we'll do well? I mean, you've got like Sheffield Wednesdays in VA you, and you've got some big clubs in VA, haven't you? Oxford United have just missed out and VA Derby Kane. So do you think that we'll struggle or do you think we'll, there's some other good teams in VA as well? I think we might struggle, like, against, like, Oxford and, like, Sunderland. Yeah, well, I'll just, I've will just i just got a table up now. So, obviously, Wigan has uh, gone up and Rotherham. And in playoffs at minute is MK Dons, Sheffield Wednesday, Sunderland, so you're right, Caleb, and Wickham. But when you look outside of that as well, you've got some, you've got some hard clubs because... Derby County will be going uh, down in League One as well, as well as Peterborough. So we know what damage they can do because we've played them in Championship. But like you said, you've got your Bolton, your Portsmouth, your Oxford, Charlton. So there's some tough there's some tough fixtures in there. There's more games as well, isn't there? Yeah, but like Derby, I actually went away to there. I think we didn't even put like one bit of effort in. So I think this time we can, we might a little bit more, a lot of effort in. That's what it needs, I think, Caelan. Like you say, it's frustrating, it? We need to put a lot of effort in because now you've got to actually work and work and work and you've got to get results. And like you've said, you, you've gone to Derby, lack of effort, and it's not good because if, if players are not putting a lack of effort in, how are we as fans, and like you're travelling, how can you get excited when players are not putting effort in? It's got to work both ways, hasn't it? Yeah, like, my and my dad was pra- planning not to get a season ticket. Mm. That's how bad it is. And there's a fair few like that. There's a fair few like that. And I think this summer, it's going to be critical. I think it's important to get right manager in. And also, that manager or head coach, for call them now, I don't know how I call them managers, but head coach, when they come in, it's also getting some decent players in, some proper players in, what can help and push us on, rather than... Just think, oh, we'll just go out and get these players and then just be in League One and not put effort in. It's all about effort, isn't it, now? Yeah, we just... We didn't put any effort in this season. Next season, we should because, like, if we get relegated again, we're we're done and Mm. everybody will, like, just stop. Yeah, it'd be bad, wouldn't it? All being well, it's not going to come to that, you know... uh, I'm thinking, my my thoughts are, I think we'll, we'll not go up next season. I think if we finish mid-table, because I, I think there's going to be a fair amount of players that's got to come in and gel and understand one another um, and get used to get used to it. But I think season after, we should be really going for it. Again, it's all about confidence and effort, isn't it? And if you don't put uh, work in, you're not going to play well, are you? You've got to, you've got to play well. Well... Like you said, for mid-table next season, I was expecting mid-table at least this season because we went in the playoffs last season. So mm. I was expecting us to at least stay in the mid-table. Yeah, good, good call. Uh, there has been other fans as well. Question that Baltimore Wanderers fans and fans from other t- uh, channels and uh, clubs and we've been asking how can you go from playoffs to bottom at league because even if we win against West Brom we're still going to be bottom at league which is disappointing only one away in all season so we've got to win some some time later um next season then what do you think it's going to be you know always going to be do you think it's going to be the most important player next season if 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 you could pick any player now you know who do you think it'd be the most important player for us next season? Well, 
Morris, but I know we'll be leaving, so if mm. it's not like Morris or Woodrow, it will might be Marsh because I've seen how much effort he put, puts in. Good call. And like I said, all them stri- uh, people, what you mentioned, be all strikers because we know that it's going to be important to score goals. So, like you say, Morris, because he just put, you know, effort, but it'd be either one or other. I mean, if Morris went, I'd like to keep hold of Woodrow, but if Woodrow went, went I'd like to keep hold of Morris because I think Caden Marsh needs someone like that to help him and uh, make him play better as well. Yeah, but I don't only want to tackle that. I'd like, I don't know if Helix is going to leave. I think mm. he has a chance because I think he is a good player, good defender, strong. I think he, he might think like he's too good for this team mm. moving on. Yes, there's a lot of questions to be asked, aren't there? So, like I said, we've got West Brom game coming up and then after West Brom game, seasons. <coughs> So I think it's going to be important then for the next couple of weeks, all being well, we can get a manager in place and we can have a better idea that players was going to be stopping or who's going to be leaving, unfortunately. But yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a bit a uh, bit of a down, but all being well, we can bounce straight back up and a bit of positiveness. So uh, it's been great having you on, Caleb. I've appreciated it, mate. Thank you for having me on on all them times. Not a problem. So, what we're going to do, oh, everybody what's watching, please like, subscribe, and share. Caelan's uh, pretty new. He's only just come on to Tykes TV. And if it's okay with you, Caelan, going into next season as well, I'll get you on the channel. And if there's any news about players or not like that, I'll get you back on the channel. And I'll get your thoughts and opinions on. Even though we're in League One, there's still some football to play. So, if it's all right with you and you're up for it, I'll get you back onto the channel. Are you good at that? Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Not. Not a problem. Cheers, Caelan. Thanks, everybody, for watching Tights TV. Please like, subscribe and share. Give Caelan a lot of comments. Give him a lot of likes. He's a great kid. He knows his football and he says it how it is. One thing left to say, you Reds.